It's going to sound weird to say this, but I discovered the power of education when I was a teacher, not as a student. And in my mind, that matters because so many times students are in the act of learning and they don't really realize why it matters. They don't really understand what it might do for them in their future. And interestingly, I've since run into thousands and thousands of adults that don't also realize the power of education. My name is Tim Kretschmann, and this is my advice. I spent 21 years working as a special education teacher and administrator, where I was on the side of education that I call learning. In other words, we are teaching children, soon to be adults, the power of learning. Um, learning things that we'd like to think matter to them, but really at the end of the day, what it really boils down to is we're establishing a foundation for education. In the first 21 years of my career as an educator, I saw people learning but I don't know that I really realized why that mattered so much until I decided to start my own business. That's when all of a sudden learning changed to education. And what I mean is education was that opportunity where I could take something that I had, that foundation, and actually make it work for me. Actually make it something that um, I was able to see an area where I was struggling, learn something, and then recognize that I changed something, the power of education, to change something, right? And as a business person, what I discovered was I had an idea, the idea was unique, and I thought the idea, um, and, and still do believe the idea has merit and demand, but I struggled in the business world to actually understand and know how to run a business, how to get this idea out of my head, off the paper, and into people's hands in order to be able to make it something that can change things for children with special needs. So when I was put into that world where I needed to learn, I struggled, believe it or not, as a teacher, I struggled because I just assumed that I would know these things, that I'd be able to do what I needed to do to um, be able to make something happen, and I didn't. That's when I truly found the power of education and its ability to change something. I believe that education holds the power to change the narrative of our life. In other words, if there's something that's going on, maybe it's in my job, um, maybe it's my happiness and I need a hobby, um, maybe it's in a relationship and there's something there that I need to change. Um, if I recognize that if I learn something, if I change something through learning, then I change the narrative. I change my job because I learned something or what I do at my job because I learned something or even the job that I have because I learned something. Um, the same way with hobbies, obviously. I love woodworking and I live on a farm, but if I want to become better at them so that I can enjoy them more or things like that, I learn something and all of a sudden um, I change the narrative, right? And in our relationships, um, we way too often get in the business of blaming others whether it's our boss, our spouse, our kids, um, whoever that is, and blaming them for something not going well, when if we are able to look inside of ourselves and see our behavior and what we're doing and recognizing that if I learn a different way to react or learn a different way to, to do something, uh, learn a different way to respond to somebody, then I change it. I change that narrative. Another example uh, and this is a big deal now, especially, but you used to read that knowledge was doubling every hundred years. They'd say every century, the amount of knowledge that we have in the world has doubled. And then around the middle of the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, they realized that education or knowledge was doubling every 24 to 30 years. Now there's people that are saying that knowledge is actually doubling every day. And that's incredible. So you have to think about knowledge and learning, and if we thought that education stopped when we established that foundation in school, we're way behind. We have to constantly be learning and changing. The fact that there's new jobs and new ways of thinking and new things going on all around us every single day that if we're not actively learning about, actively seeking out and trying to change things with that knowledge and skill, then we're just behind every single day. Knowledge represents our way of influence influencing things, um, changing the things that are going, going on around us. I have four kids, and they're all four very different kids. If I had tried to raise each of them the same way, 
and tried to respond to each of them the same way without learning who they were, learning and understanding the way they think and behave, then I wouldn't have been able to influence them as their father. By learning them, by learning about them and who they were, I'm able to respond to each of them differently. The knowledge and power of education helped me to become a better dad. Um, and the coolest part about all of this is learning is everywhere now. Like, literally, if you're thinking that education only happens in school, that's so wrong. Because it's so incredibly easy now to learn. Whether it's watching a, a podcast or, um, you know, checking out some YouTube videos or taking a course, of course, is always a way to learn. But it's just so easy to learn now. There's just no excuse for not changing something that we're dissatisfied with in our life or for not taking advantage of an opportunity to realize that I can change the narrative. How this advice changed me and why I'm sharing it is because way too often I see people seeing shortcomings as um, a problem, as something that's them. I've always been bad at math or they say things like that. When in reality, if you believe in the power of education, you see a shortcoming as an opportunity. An opportunity to learn something, an opportunity to change something, an opportunity to use education and its power and its ability to change. So we realize then that if there's something in life that I'm dissatisfied with, it's an opportunity. It's not a shortcoming. It's a chance to grow. Um, and most importantly, um, the reason we call my company Action Driven Education is because we see learning, we see education as behavioral change. In other words, I learn something, so now I do something different. I behave differently, or I think differently, or I understand differently. Um, it's about realizing that behavior change is an action that comes about as a result of education. And last but not least, and I think that this most important piece in, in my mind could not ring any truer than it does today, where recognizing the power of education and its ability to change something gives us control in this world that just seems like it's out of control right now. When you look around and it seems like everybody's just going in every different direction and you don't understand it and you maybe feel like everything's just spiraling out of control, by recognizing the power of education, what we realize we can do is we realize we can seek an understanding. I can try to understand why someone is thinking differently than I am, why someone is behaving differently than I am, why someone believes something differently than I do. The power of education recognizes that you're doing what you're doing, your actions, because of something that you know, believe, and understand, right? So if I don't get that, instead of judging you, I can literally seek an understanding or learn, and then in that case, better understand the things that are going on around me. By realizing that, I also then realize how I can change things by also sharing my beliefs and understandings. So that all in my mind is the power of education. There's a famous quote that's out there and I have it hanging on my wall, which something to the tune of um, that education is the single most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. And I can't say that I've ever heard anything that made more sense to me than that quote. Uh, it truly is the way to change the world, education. The power that it has to make change.